its immense size and kind disposition. The moose, a majestic creature found in the forests of North America and Eurasia, is a worthy subject of reverence. This is the tale of the moose. Moose are the biggest deer in the family growing to a height of six feet at the shoulder and weighing more than 1,500 pounds. Moose may stand seven to 10 feet tall at the shoulder when they are standing on their hind legs. They are protected from the cold winters in North America and Eurasia by their thick, dark brown fur, which acts as a protective mantle. Antlers from a mature moose can grow to be over 70 pounds in weight and up to six feet broad usually palmate or flat in form. They feature pointy tines or prongs along the outside border. Antlers do not develop on female moose, cows, on their heads, though are little bony lumps where a male's antlers would be. Bulls express their authority with their antlers during the autumn breeding season to attract the interest of females. They engage in a complex display of power where they lock antlers and push each other. Though severe injuries are uncommon, these demonstrations often escalate into heated fights. The antlers' dimensions and form are major factors in choosing the victor. In order to mark the area they inhabit and leave scent trails, some moose can scratch their antlers against trees or shrubs. This guarantees access to important assets and helps prevent disputes. Antler growth in moose may occur very quickly, sometimes gaining inches per day. While they are growing, their velvet skin, which supplies nutrients and blood flow, is coated in a velvety layer. A bull's antlers fall off after the breeding season, known as casting. This procedure is not painful and is natural and next spring, they will begin developing new antlers. Bulls can preserve energy by falling their antlers during the hard months of winter when food is in short supply. Though difficult, the process of developing new antlers takes place in the summer when there are plenty of resources available. Less complex, fewer end antlers are seen in younger males. They gain greater palmation and more points on their antlers as they become adults, making them more complicated. Due to their large, flexible nostrils, moose have an amazing sense of odor. They have a long-range ability to smell for water as well as food, and they can even sense the approach of predatory animals through dense wooded areas. They can hear quite well thanks to their enormous ears, which also enable them to detect faint noises in their surroundings. Due to their excellent swimming abilities, moose spend a lot of time in the water, particularly in the warmer months. They move quite quickly over lakes and rivers because of the paddles their long legs provide. In order to feed on aquatic vegetation like pondweed and water lilies, they may even dive up to 20 feet below the surface and remain that way for 30 seconds. Winter survival skills take hold of moose when the temperature drops and the terrain is covered in snow. Their large hooves, thick fur, and hollow hairs that gather air with insulation let them keep warm and maneuver over snowdrifts for additional insulation. They also grow an additional layer of fat beneath their skin. In the winter, they build moose snards, well-traveled paths that link protection and feeding places. Moose are generally friendly animals, but when they sense danger, they can become remarkably violent. They can fend off intruders with their formidable kicks, lengthy legs, and even by biting with their amazing strength. Their size is further impressive since that seemingly little dewlap has the ability to swell and become rather frightening. Despite their apparent loneliness, moose develop surprisingly close interactions with other animals. Chickadees and other birds frequently rest on their antlers to catch insects drawn to the warmth. The moose removes a number of bothersome parasites in exchange. Even though they don't construct dwellings, moose leave their mark on the environment. Their propensity for browsing leaves browse lines on trees and bushes that indicate where they have been feeding. 
This inconspicuous traces provide information about their whereabouts and highlight their influence on the environment. Giant, nimble moose. They are quite skilled at navigating over piddles and snowdrifts, thanks to their large legs and wide hooves. One or two calves are usually born in the spring to female moose, sometimes known as cows. They raise their young until they are around a year old, during which time they teach them how to stay alive and how to forage. The main foods that moose consume are leaves, twigs, and aquatic vegetation, despite their massive stature. With their lengthy necks, they can forage high in trees. Due to their lower stature and susceptibility, calves and youngsters are the main targets for bears. Adults are fierce adversaries who are rarely defeated unless they are sick or it is snowing. This is especially true with bulls. Indigenous societies have integrated stories, music, and even religious rituals about moose, making them real-life legends. They stand for tenacity, courage, and compatibility with the natural world. For brief periods of time, Moose may run speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. They can tolerate lows of 40 degrees Fahrenheit thanks to their thick fur. Moose calves have spots at birth, but those marks disappear as they get older. Despite having strong numbers in many places, moose are threatened by things like the destruction of habitat brought on by construction and changes in the climate. By preserving their habitat, lowering the number of traffic accidents, and spreading knowledge about these amazing animals, we can all do our part. Remember to respect moose dominance and maintain a safe distance from them the next time you come across them in the wild. Take in their magnificent presence and the wonders they bestow on our world.